Huwag ka na magpakita ang gila sa Panginoon. Panginoon, oh, guwapo na ba ako? Kaya mo na akong patawarin? Nakagawa na ako ng maganda sa kapatid ko, sa nanay ko, sa tatay ko. No, 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 no. You can pay for that forgiveness. It is finished. Binayaran ka na nga eh. Amen? <clears throat> Payat ka na. Sabi niyo sa tayo, Payat ka na. That's the six and the seven. Jesus cried, Jesus cried, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Father, into your hands, the seven and the last. Father, into your hands, I command my spirit. Father, into your hands, I command my spirit. What about us? Pag, kapag nasa, hindi, hindi, pa nama, hindi pa namamatay, ha? Nandun pa lang sa mga sitwasyon na parang, mm, duro naman na, ano, paano kaya, ang gagawin ko nito? <laughs> Jesus Christ is telling us, are you entrusting your life to God? Pinagkakatiwala ba natin ang ating buhay sa Panginoon? Ang sarap nun, the very last breath, sabi niya, Father, in your hands, I command my spirit. Nasubukan niyo na makipag-usap sa isang tao na malapit na mamatay. As in, malapit na malapit na mamatay. At iba ang bukang bibig ng taong malapit na mamatay na walang kinikilalang Diyos sa mga taong kumikilala sa ating Panginoong Yesus bilang Panginoon at Tagapaglintas. Father, I command my spirit. Salamat sa napakamakubuluhang buhay. Thank you for letting me finish the fight. It is finished and I command my spirit unto you. It's five minutes before 11. We have to go up. Hero pa ka noon. May oras. So remember these seven last words of Jesus Christ. Forgive all people. Sino yung mga tao na agawa sa'yo ng di maganda? Pwede ka mag-anak mo. Minsan, no, mga manggagawa pa, ano? Minsan, mga, mga ministry, I hope wala naman dito. Okay. Ministry head, o kasama, magkatugtugan, worship leader, worship team, tapos may kasama. Sana, sana pumalya sa pag-gitara. Grabe ginawa niya sa <laughs> Forgive them all. Uh, you know it. Sino man yung mga tao na agawa sa'yo ng pagkakasala, di maganda? Okay. What's the message? Father, forgive them for they do not know what they're doing. Okay? So forgive all people. Pangalawa ano yun? Heaven is a real place. Heaven is real. Pangatlo, treat each other like a family. Four, pour out your heart to God. Okay. Isa ibang tao, alam mo, ayun na yun, ipagkakalat ka na, may possibility to pagkakalat. Isa, isa, isa. Fifth, be thirsty of the living water. Be thirsty of His presence, of His Word. So, bang mirit, wala na oras eh. Okay. Finish what you have started. Okay. Huwag kang tumigil dahil you're giving up. Tumigil ka dahil tapos na. Amen? And trust your life to God. Not to any people around you. Okay? Kahit anong sitwasyon ng buhay, when you entrust your life to God, okay, masasabi mo na, to live is Christ and to die is gain. Di ba sarap na? Sarap sabihin yung katsabi mo sa katsabi mo, nabubuhay ako para sa iyo. At kung mamamatay ako para sa sarili ko. To live is Christ and to die is gain. Huh? And yeah, that's the message of Apostle Paul. And the last seven words of our Lord Jesus Christ, I, they do believe with all my heart, is speaking to so, to almost all aspects of our lives. Relationship. The way we live our life. The way we, we entrust uh, 
everything that we do, lahat ng mga tawag sa atin ng Panginoon, sa kapatinawag ng Panginoon, it is finished. Amen? Like everyone to all stand as we end in prayer. Shall we, shall we all close our eyes and meditate on what the Lord is telling us? Ay din ang gagawa sa iyo ang Panginoon. This is not an accident why you heard the message, the last seven words or sayings of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before the resurrection, these words, before even before the death of our Lord Jesus Christ, these words were spoken by Him to teach us about the heart of God. The heart of God is to forgive people. Forgive those people. You have to act, mahal na Jesus Christ demonstrated that forgiveness on the cross of Calvary. Forgive. Kung ito man ay best friend mo, mahal na kapatid. Kung ito man ay magulang mo, You have to treat each and every one like a family. Love people. Love each and every one just like how Jesus Christ loved us. And be thirsty of His presence. God wants to feel you by His presence. But the question is, ikaw ba talaga, mahal na kapatid, ay gutom sa kanyang presensya? Are you there? Willing to finish whatever God has called you to do? Bilang anak, bilang magulang, bilang magagawa sa upasan ng Panginoon, bilang empleyado, bilang amo, Bilang negosyante. Are you entrusting everything to God until the last breath of your life? I want to pray for you, mahal na kapatid. If you want your life to be empowered more by the presence of God, I just want you to raise your hand to the Lord. Father, I thank you so much, O oh God, for these precious people. Alam mo, Panginoon, ang laman ng kanilang puso. Walang may tatagong sino man, Panginoon. And I just pray right now, O oh God, that you would empower this person, O oh God, by your very presence, O oh God. That the life of this person will never be the same, O oh God. That he will be better than yesterday, O oh God. And your presence, O oh God, will continue to manifest, O oh God, in the life of this person. Use, Lord, this person as light and salt in this dying world, O oh God. And I pray, O oh God, for the signs and wonders, O oh God, to follow, Lord, as this person follows you. Thank you, Father, for everything. Thank you for your presence, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus, O oh God, for loving us unconditionally. We honor you. We glorify you, O oh God, in your mighty name, Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen.